Thank you very much for giving me this uh, opportunity to present one uh, very forward-looking, uh, I'll say, model of production in my country. We call it Centre Songhai, Songhai Center. It's a, a center where you, we are developing a model of secular agriculture. Secular agriculture is a, a way of production which eliminates the concept of waste because waste is uh, considered as a raw material for many other activities and it makes the agricultural production very sustainable because it uh, reduces uh, to a real minimum the uh, ecological footprint of, the, of this activity. It uh, gives also a very satisfactory answer to the issue of uh, uh, nutrition and uh, I would say food security and nutrition because uh, it provides a, a very uh, easy way, sustainable way to uh, increase the uh, uh, protein content of the food that people do uh, consume and uh, it uh, produces all this in an organic way which uh, makes it very, uh, so to say, healthy food for the population. And uh, another uh, characteristic of this model of production is that it uh, works with the smallholders. It involves the small farmers in a process of value addition uh, because uh, uh, everything produced is transformed locally and uh, in a sustainable, in an organic uh, pattern of production. And I will give you an example. The uh, solid waste uh, are used uh, for uh, biomass and the uh, residual stuff is used to f as fertilizer uh, the organic waste are used to produce worms, and those worms are used to feed the fishes, which grows very, which grow very fat and very big in the ponds. And imagine that we multiply such centers in each uh, villages of our, our our country. We can become really not only food, uh, we can become food secure. Uh, we can also become food, food sovereign. If uh, the major goal of SDGs is about integrating social dimension, economic uh, uh, performance, and also uh, protection of the environment, uh, we, 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 we are already on a good track in Benin. And uh, uh, we, we need to really scale up the small uh, models, and that's the issue. How can we scale up uh, those uh, models that we are developing, experimental models that we are developing? Because uh, they need some investment. It's a matter of funding. For if I find the right funding to bring to scale uh, the uh, activities that are, are, can serve as enabler or drivers of development, of a transformative development of our society. We have also the uh, activities that we are uh, implementing to empower the young people and to empower the uh, young women, uh, a microcredit program. Microcredit program is a, also a very powerful tool to uh, generate wealth and uh, to liberate, to emancipate, to empower the, uh, the women in society, and uh, as you know, in Benin society, we have 51% of women and 49% of men. And uh, uh, we need to really put that 51% at work, uh, is, which is not that Beninese women are not working. They are working, but uh, uh, because of lack of resources, they, uh, they, are, they are low performing, they are in a system of low performing economy. And a low performing economy means that the potentials are not unleashed uh, at the right uh, uh, level to really generate the transformative effects. 
we are thinking of having a, 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 a new model of uh, uh, urbanization, which we call a uh, model for the creation of uh, uh, rural modern cities, rural modern cities. And you can't imagine what that means. That means that uh, uh, we want a well-planned, organized cities in a rural environment uh, devoted to the promotion of rural activities where the population there can have all services available in the cities at scale. So uh, I think those models are really powerful models for the future. What is, again, better is to uh, use the space that we have in a way that uh, avoids high concentration of uh, populations that generates a lot of, uh, uh, so to say, uh, cost and a lot of uh, side, side effects uh, as regards the sustainability of uh, environment. Uh, and uh, we were discussing this morning how to put in place transformative, uh, 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 transformative goals and uh, uh, we were considering this model of secular agriculture as a model, but one was objecting that that is not possible in a mega city like New York. I, I may assume that, but should we have mega cities of New York everywhere? Not. We can develop, uh, I would say, uh, middle-sized cities uh, which are uh, surrounded by uh, agri uh, rural areas and which can really serve to b rebalance the uh, settlements around the world to make our world more sustainable.